Hi, welcome to Comet Computers of Private Limited e-learning program of uh, Azure Public Cloud Training. Myself, Ilan Sharian, Technical Director at uh, Comet Computers of Private Limited. This is the second video of our uh, uh, Azure uh, Public Cloud Training. Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing the uh, cloud computing introduction. Cloud computing is uh, uh, when you access uh, computing services like uh, servers, storage, networking, software, or the public internet uh, from a cloud service provider, which we call it as a cloud computing. So cloud computing uh, platforms like Azure uh, tend to be less expensive and more uh, secure, reliable, and uh, flexible than uh, on-premises servers. With the cloud, equipment downtime due to maintenance uh, theft or damage is uh, almost uh, not existent uh, you can uh, scale your uh, computer and uh, storage resources up and down almost instantly uh, when your need change also uh, you typically pay only for the services uh, you use uh, which uh, provides a very uh, uh, high level of uh, convenience and cost control that's almost impossible to uh, achieve with uh, on-site infrastructure and also we have uh, many challenges in the on-premises infrastructure so which includes the investment uh, space cooling system and power and dust free environment and uptime scalability reliability and physical security support and maintenance and disaster recovery so th these are all the uh, challenges uh, which every company faces in their uh, on-premises infrastructure and uh, now we'll understand the characteristics of the cloud computing so which will uh, make you to understand more about the cloud computing so cloud computing uh, resources are owned and made uh, available to you as a service by the cloud service provider Cloud computing resources are located out of your site and uh, maybe far from uh, where you are. And you access the resources using a web interface or APIs and uh, protocols over the public internet. And the other important characteristics of the uh, cloud computing is uh, it is a self-service. So it means that uh, you need not to depend on anyone else uh, to uh, create your resource or delete your resource or manage your resource or do any changes to your resource. So you can log out to the uh, portal of the service provider and you can do the changes whatever you want and it is going to be uh, get applied immediately. <clears throat> And uh, cloud service provider use a uh, uh, virtualization to obtain uh, multi-tenancy. That is, uh, the same hardware is shared by multiple customers. And you pay for the resources uh, what you use and also the capacity you reserve for. Uh, even uh, Azure has a, a, a pricing option to reserve the instances for one year or three year. So in that case, uh, you're going to pay, in, uh, you'll be paying in advance for your resources. And also we can uh, dynamically uh, scale your uh, uh, usage of the cloud resources up and down and obviously we have more reliability and availability and now we'll understand the uh, types of uh, cloud computing not all uh, clouds are uh, the same and uh, not one type of cloud computing is uh, right for everyone so several uh, different models, types and services have uh, evolved to help uh, offer the right solution uh, for your needs. First, you need to determine the type of uh, cloud deployment or a cloud computing architecture so that your cloud services will be uh, implemented on. There are uh, three ways uh, to deploy uh, cloud services. One is uh, public cloud. The other one is private cloud. And the other one is the hybrid cloud so initially we'll understand about the public cloud so public clouds are uh, always owned by uh, owned and operated by a third-party cloud service provider which uh, deliver their computing uh, resources like servers storage network security and many more over the public internet and Microsoft Azure is an uh, example for the public cloud even AWS uh, GCP and many more co companies are there so with a public cloud, all hardware and software and other supporting infrastructure is owned and managed by the cloud service provider itself. So you access these services and manage your account using a web browser 
or uh, even uh, commandlets like PowerShell or even any uh, third party utilities also. And uh, uh, <clears throat> private cloud, where this uh, uh, private cloud offers uh, uh, you to manage uh, your resources in your on premises. Uh, private cloud obviously refers to uh, cloud computing resources used exclusively uh, by a, a single business or organization. So a private cloud can be uh, physically located on a, a company's on-site data center, uh, same companies. Uh, some companies uh, also uh, pay third-party service providers to host uh, their uh, private clouds. A private cloud is uh, one in which the, the services and infrastructure are maintained on a private network. And now we'll uh, understand the um, hybrid cloud. So hybrid cloud combine uh, physical and uh, 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 that is your on-premises uh, data center uh, that is uh, your private cloud along with the public cloud uh, bound together by the uh, technology that allows data and application to be shared between them. So by allowing uh, data and application uh, to move between uh, private and uh, public clouds, a hybrid uh, cloud uh, gives you uh, and your business greater flexibility uh, more uh, uh, deployment options and helps uh, uh, you to optimize your existing infrastructure uh, security and compliance and uh, in the uh, cloud services basically there are uh, uh, many services out of that uh, there are uh, three primary services are there so most of the cloud computing uh, services fall into uh, four uh, broad categories which is uh, infrastructure as a service platform as a service uh, earlier we had a uh, software as a service not uh, serverless computing but now uh, we also include this uh, serverless computing as a service under the uh, types of cloud services so now we'll understand uh, uh, infrastructure as a service so in infrastructure as a service uh, uh, is an um, uh, instant computing infrastructure provisioned and managed over the public internet uh, it is the most uh, basic category of uh, cloud computing services with infrastructure as a service you rent it infrastructure means servers and virtual machines storage uh, networks operating system from a cloud service provider on a pay as you go model basis and infrastructure as a service quickly can scale up or scale down with your demand and it, it uh, letting you to pay only for the uh, uh, usage uh, of your resources and in infrastructure as a service the uh, uh, data center uh, premises that is the building and the network uh, resources uh, like a switch firewall and other security devices and the servers and storages so only these uh, resources are going to be managed by the cloud service provider and rest of the configuration has to be managed by the uh, customer so infrastructure as a service helps you to uh, avoid the expenses and uh, complexity of uh, buying and managing uh, your own physical servers and other data center infrastructure each resources is offered as a separate uh, uh, service component and you only need to rent particular one for as long uh, as you need it a cloud computing service provider such as azure or aws or gcp so manages the infrastructure while you purchase install configure and manage your own software operating system middleware and the applications now understanding about the uh, platform as a service so platform as a service refers to cloud computing uh, services uh, that supply an on-demand environment for uh, developing testing delivering and managing uh, software applications Platform as a service uh, is designed to make it easier for uh, developers or the companies to quickly uh, create uh, uh, web applications or mobile application without worrying about uh, uh, set uh, uh, about the setting up of uh, or managing the underlying infrastructure of the server storage network and uh, databases needed for the development. And in platform as a service uh, where the service provider manages the uh, building or the network and uh, the storage and the operating system and the middleware is going to be managed by the service provider so as a customer we are going to manage only the uh, application which we deploy on top of the platform 
so like uh, IAS uh, platform as a service includes uh, infrastructure servers storage and networking but also uh, middleware deployment tools business intelligence services database management and more uh, platform as a service is uh, designed to support uh, the complete web application lifecycle that is uh, building testing deploying managing and updating so now uh, we'll understand the uh, serverless computing Overlapping with uh, platform as a service, serverless uh, computing focuses on uh, building uh, application functionality without uh, spending uh, time continuously or uh, and managing the servers and infrastructures required to do so. So the cloud uh, provider handles the setup, capacity planning and server management for you. So serverless architecture are highly uh, scalable and uh, event driven and only using the resources when a specific functions or uh, trigger occurs. In understanding the definition of the serverless computer, uh, it is uh, important to note that the servers are still running the code. The serverless uh, name comes from the fact that the task associated with the infrastructure provisioning and managing are invisible to the developer. So this approach enables developer to increase uh, their focus on the uh, business logic and deliver more uh, value to the uh, core of the business uh, requirement. And uh, serverless computing helps uh, teams to increase their productivity and uh, bring uh, products to market faster and it allows organizations to uh, better optimize uh, their resources and uh, stay focused uh, on innovation. And coming to software as a service, software as a service allows a user to connect to and use a cloud based application over the internet. And here you rent the use of an application for your organization and your users connect to it over the public internet. So usually with a web browser or with some client plugins. So all of the underlying infrastructure, middleware, application software and application data are located in the service providers data centers. And that is also going to be managed by the service provider. So where the entire infrastructure resources, including the software operating system, application data, everything is going to be managed by the service provider. As a customer, we are just going to log in and connect the resource and we are just going to use the resource. So the service provider manages the hardware and software and with the appropriate uh, service agreement will ensure the availability and the security of the application uh, and your data as well as and uh, software as a service allows you uh, and your organization to uh, get quickly uh, up and uh, uh, running with uh, an application at uh, minimal uh, upfront cost. And uh, that's the end of the topic. I believe you got a good understand, better understanding on uh, uh, what is cloud and what are all the uh, uh, types of cloud available and what are all the services of cloud available. And uh, in the next video, we'll be discussing about the Azure uh, global infrastructure. So until then, uh, bye bye. Thank you.